Huge shout out goes out to our current channel members. If you're interested in gaining a channel membership, then feel free to head over to my channel profile and click the join button. Also, we do have a Ninjago Discord server. It's a great way to communicate with myself and many others. For more details on that, click the very first link at the very top of the description of this video. Thanks. Hello there everybody and welcome back to the channel for a very, very exciting one as some all new Ninjago news has just dropped. Well, actually it was hours ago at this point, but unfortunately I just couldn't get a video out as I've been very busy all day. But here we are, I have been desperate to film this video in the first place for you guys because I just had to get this one out there. It's really blown my mind, the entire situation that's gone down today. And that is exactly why I'm going to be splitting this whole thing into two separate videos. One on this poster that we're about to get into and one on another topic that you guys are going to be seeing tomorrow as of the time that this video is being uploaded. But oh wow, it is right in front of you here and I want to keep this one kind of brief but at the same time I would like to analyse it. Right off the bat here, as you can see, that main yellow type guy with some form of horns is presumably going to be Aaron. That is the word on the street right now, obviously following that same yellow design. And of course, we have that leaked image for his minifigure. It's the exact same yellow and it looks very much the same. What's interesting and something that I didn't even notice at first is the fact that he has some form of like horns on his uh, head on the helmet. I'm not sure what that's going to symbolize, what that's going to mean. I'm not sure if that's going to play a role into kind of what he does and maybe he's got some form of... Of, I mean, I don't even know where this is going, to be honest. I have no idea. I'm literally just seeing this with you guys now, and I'm just completely going over different possibilities. But yeah, I've got really no idea what that could actually be. I'm not sure what the connection is with those two horns, but it looks pretty damn interesting, I have to say that. And obviously, the big thing with this poster, aside from Aaron being slap bang at the top there, is these weird, like, shards, right? It looks like it's been smashed. It looks like this was taken in a mirror and someone's just gone and smashed it, right? That's what this whole thing looks like. And there is a reason for that, as there's this whole new Edge of the Fragments movement going on in the Ninjago community. Again, that's the part I'm going to be saving more for another video, as I have so much more to say about it. But yeah, that whole thing does look very, very interesting, and that's obviously why this poster looks so strange. Towards the bottom of the poster, though, I'm not too sure what that's actually... Well, what that is, I'm not sure if it's some form of hammer. Maybe that's going to be Aaron's weapon. We don't really know. The then, of course, you have this blue uh, color scheme going on. Maybe this is in the time vortex, because if you look a little bit higher up in that top corner there, there is some yellow. So I'm not really too sure what that in particular could mean, but maybe there's something going on with that. Just a theory I'm throwing out there. We don't really know. But yeah, I think that's basically just about going to cover it for this one. We've covered Aaron, the merge the fragments section of things, the hammer weapon tool, and the potential of this being in the time vortex. Again, none of this is confirmed in any way. I am just basically freestyling different theories off the top of my head here for you guys. Just coming up with it as I go along, as I haven't really had the chance to properly take a look at this poster. But I do have to say that so far, it's looking pretty damn interesting, if I do say so myself. But yeah, I think that's basically just about going to wrap it up from me here so yeah hopefully you guys did all enjoy it and with all of this being said i come to you now feel free to leave any of your own thoughts on this down below in the comments i'd love to hear your own thoughts regarding everything mentioned here if you did enjoy today's video though and found it informative and useful please do feel free to leave a like on it subscribe to the channel for more and hit that notification bell so that you watching this right now yes you behind the screen there you can be the first to keep up to date on all things ninjago here on the channel and with all of this being said i will catch you all very very soon for my next one goodbye everybody